our leaf is the main lateral appendage of our vascular plant stem that is usually carried above the ground and is specialized for photosynthesis. Welcome viewers, you are watching BioHub and I am your biology facilitator Dr. Seema Sharma. Viewers, this video is about the basic differences and comparison between two types of leaves. One is dorsiventral leaf and another is isobilateral leaf. After watching this video, two things will be crystal clear to you all. First, what are the morphological differences between these two types of leaves? Second, how they are anatomically different from each other. So without further delay, let's try and explore the differences between these two types of leaves. First, morphological parameter of comparison is the type of surface. In case of dorsi ventral leaf, there are two surfaces, upper ventral surface and lower dorsal surface and they differ from each other not only in appearance but also in structure. Isobilateral leaf, iso means same, bilateral means two lateral surfaces. Isobilateral leaf has two surfaces but both the surfaces are more or less same in appearance and structure. The second parameter of comparison is the color. Dorsi ventral leaf, its ventral surface is generally dark green and the dorsal surface is light green in color. On the other hand, in case of isobilateral leaf, both the surfaces of the leaf, they are of the same shade of green or they are equally green. Next parameter of comparison is texture. In case of dorsi ventral leaf, the ventral surface is mostly smooth and glossy and the dorsal surface is generally rough and dull. In case of isobilateral leaf, both the surfaces are generally similar in texture. Next point of comparison is venation. Venation means the arrangement of veins and veinlets within the leaf lamina. And this is one of the important parameters to differentiate between dorsiventral and isobilateral leaf. Look at the dorsiventral leaf. Venation is reticulate in dorsiventral leaf. Reticulate means veins and veinlets. They are unevenly dispersed throughout the whole leaf lamina and they form a sort of network. On the other hand, venation in case of isobilateral leaf is parallel. Here, a majority of the major vein, they run commonly parallel to each other throughout the entire length of the leaf lamina. Fifth point of morphological difference is the nature of midrib. The lower portion of the midrib of dorsi ventral leaf is made up of cholenchymatous tissue. Whereas, the lower portion of midrib of isobilateral leaf is made up of sclerenchymatous tissue. Next point of difference is journal shape. In case of dorsi ventral leaf, the leaves are generally broad and they are attached to the stem by a small stalk like structure called petiole or they may originate directly from the stem. But in case of isobilateral leaf, leaves are generally narrow and they are linear with a sheath covering around the stem at the base of the node. Next point of difference is orientation of leaf with respect to plant axis. The dorsiventral leaves orient themselves at an angle to the main axis and perpendicular to the direction of sunlight. On the other hand, the isobilateral leaves orient themselves parallel to the main axis and parallel to the direction of sunlight. Now coming to the anatomical differences between the dorsiventral and isobilateral leaf. The first parameter is bulliform cells. Bulliform cells are absent in dorsiventral leaf, but they are present in isobilateral leaves and they have a very important function there. These cells assist in the rolling of leaf to avoid water loss through transpiration. The next parameter is stomata. Stomata are minute pores which are present on the surface of leaf. In case of dorsiventral leaf, stomata are mostly present on the lower surface. 
whereas in case of isopyletral leaf these stomata they are more or less equally present on both the sides of the leaf next distribution of stomata in case of dorsiventral leaves these stomata they are distributed randomly within the epidermal tissue but in case of isobilateral leaf they run parallel along the epidermal tissue next the shape of guard cells in case of dorsiventral leaf is kidney shaped and in case of isobilateral leaf the guard cells are dumbbell shaped all dicot plants they have dorsiventral leaves examples of dicot leaf rose peepal mango guava they all have dorsiventral leaf and they all are dicot plants on the other hand isobilateral leaves they are present in monocot plants such as wheat rice grass maize palm etc and viewers Here is the tabulated summary of all the discussed morphological and anatomical differences between dorsiventral and isobilateral leaf. You can go through it for quick recap. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to Biohub. Bye bye.